night. Praise God, but that's all right. Praise yeah, God. Man. Jesus, he will fix it. Yes, Praise God. Will. Come on, give it all another hand. Yeah. Praise God. You know, it's not the same Mother Day. Every year be a different Mother Day. Praise God. Appreciate being the land of the living. Praise God. Appreciate what the Lord is doing for all of his people. Praise God. Appreciate for our young people. Praise God. Appreciate for the healing and deliverance. Praise God. Hallelujah. So many times the Lord healed my body. Praise God. And there been a doctor for me. He's been a lonely for me. Praise God. He's been a comfort keeper for me. Alone now. Praise God. Be my friend. Praise God. Hallelujah. He's been all in all to me. Praise God. Hallelujah. So take Jesus for you. He said, the son said, you can have the whole world while I take Jesus for mine. Praise God. Let's put Jesus for an hour today. Praise God. We're to roll just another song. Praise God. Hallelujah.
Praise God. You know, you wonder why it's so strange because God had chosen you. Praise God. And my life is there. Praise God. Sister Anderson, you might be going to a test on your job. You stay right there. Praise God. Sister Rod, you might be going to a test on your job. See, we never know. We never help somebody. We run. Praise God. A lot of times, you thought I was saying this while I was on my job. I said, anybody leave, you're going to be there. I said, I'm going to stay here and get ready to leave. <laughs> Praise God. Everybody left except me. <laughs> Everybody left except me. Praise God. When I got ready to leave, I'll leave. They owe me another position. They said, you want to stay? My boss left. Everybody else left. And, and everybody asked me, did you want another position? I said, no. And I said, oh, Paul, that was my teacher. He said, you walk around five and six years, so when everybody leaves, it's going to be dead. Right. And that's mm -hmm. now, too. Praise God. I do pray. That's that part of you. Praise God. You know, sometimes that God puts you in there to test you. Praise God. You give up one for your test. You never be blessed. Hallelujah. So a lot of times you might be going through, it's going to be pressure on the job. It's going to be everything on the job. God didn't say this way it's going to be easy. Praise God. But we got to stay there and we got to fight so we can be able to help somebody. God had chosen and put you there. Praise God. for so on that job. Praise God. But you know, I was going through, I was, I was going through now. I used to go in my prayer room and people, and people used to just mellow with me. Lord, fix me so that Steve had, had a prayer room down there. And so I used to pray to everybody. I was just making fun of me. Hallelujah, just making fun. Say, praise God. Every time I see this, sister, she praying. But you know, praise God. Pray myself. Praise God. Everybody left, tell me. Praise God. And I know prayer works. All you have to do is my Lord, what I need to do now. All you have to do is just see what I see the salvation of Jesus' word. Praise God. So I said, I see the salvation. I see everything. I see the devil fight me. Praise God. You know, Lord, it's making me and molding me. And I see myself fly up. I see myself be on. Praise God. I had passed the test. Praise God, I had lost some tests. Yeah. Praise God, but the bell ain't over. Praise God, hallelujah. He said, shout now, shout for your joy. You know what we do when we're going through? You know what we do, brother? We we'll hang our head down. Right. We get to have a pity party. Right. Praise right. God, we start telling everybody about tests. And the Lord told me to be quiet. Praise God, be quiet let me fix this hell. Right. See the film last night. I see her coughing last night. Went into it, praise God, hallelujah. But you know, I said, Lord, well, you're abusive, praise God. Let me tell you, so God can test my nerve and do my prophet no harm. You know, somebody will tell me nerve and I feel it, praise God. Tell the brother who's coming on, praise God. And the Lord let me know, praise God. I said, going to be another film, praise God. But you know, I, I tell you, don't mess with the night. No matter, you don't know who God had chosen. Praise God. Brother made it look like a rag man. Praise God. Jesus looked like a common son. But he, Jesus was Jesus. Praise God. But you know, praise God. I said, Lord, I thank you. I thank you for just letting me hold my peace. And the Lord told me, he said, go home. Did you know what the Lord told me? Praise God. I'm tell this real quick. Then I'm going to let the choir come forth. He said, praise God. Don't worry about nobody. Don't worry about nobody, Sister Angela. Praise God. Sometimes we get to worry about it and we tell us that everybody mistake do, we get out of the mistake, praise God. Because we all make mistakes, we all got a little wrecking around us, praise God. He said, well, go ahead, let me speak what people think about you. You can even save the world no way. <laughs> you try to win, so not save the world, you know. But I'm going to tell the dream, praise God, then we're going to let the quiet come forth. I dream about walking down the street, praise God, my children with me. Praise God, I had some money, and I always take the money. No, but you know, <laughs> I don't know where the money come from, but I took the money, I had a whole, just a whole fix of money. And I took it and I put it in my bosom. And one of my boy kids gave me some money, some more money with it. I took it and put it in my bosom. And I look back, somebody will follow me, you know. I guess they're going to rob me, Sister Amy. <laughs> Praise God. I look back, they had a machine gun. Praise God. And I thought about what to do. And you know something? And God spoke to me, so you got Jesus. Praise God. And when I turn around, praise God, I went and I touched his man on the forehead, he just fell out. Praise God, I got that machine gun, and I see Ross in the dream. Praise God, I was shooting at her to everybody. Praise God. I wouldn't miss it. I said, Ross, jump. Praise God. Ross, you took off this me. Put a weapon in our hand.
man, so that he can't put a weapon out. He's going to make can't use it right now. So then, but he's teaching them. He's he teaching them now how to use. He's teaching you how to use that weapon. How to use that prayer. Praise God. Not to run out for him. Praise God. I said, Lord, that I know. I got it now. <laughs> Praise God. This weapon I'm going to use. It's going to be with a machine gun. We're going to shoot so many bullets. Praise God. Praise God. People just run and get out of my way. Praise God. Because I was danger. You know, the power of God is danger when you get in the wrong hand. <laughs> Appreciate it, Brother Bela. Hallelujah. Mighty God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Come on, get a quiet another hand. Praise the Lord. Come on, this is all coming in. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Mighty God. Mighty God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Oh, come on, get a quiet another good hand. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God, he brought me a little card. Brought me a little birthday case. Sister, Miss, Sister Mother Karen told me, Happy Mother Day. <laughs> and he said, I look at the card, he gave me $30. Amen. And I thank the Lord, you know. The Lord for my daughter, praise God, she gave me a birthday. Thank the Lord for my other son. Thank the Lord for all of my children, praise God. I said, Y'all feel, feel like that about me? And they said, Yeah. Praise God. I said, Well, thank you. <laughs> praise God. So we're going to praise God. Quiet. I come to pray.
Praise the Lord.
Praise God, appreciate the missionary. Praise God, friends, musician, drum. Praise God, cameraman. Praise God, appreciate everybody. Praise God. Hallelujah. Come on, get the Lord another hand clap. Just appreciate the Lord. Really good. Praise God. Love everybody. Praise God. Rose is good. Just a little. Okay, but Austin. I thought he was. Praise God. Go ahead. Get the little song. Praise God. Why you standing? Praise God. Love. Christ of Nazareth, Lord. We come to you, Father. Asking you, Lord, don't let us prayers in the devil's hand. God save us. In Jesus' divine name, Lord, cover this servant with your blood. Hide it behind the cross. Lord, it's, it's all about being saved. And I'm asking you, Lord, God, save these. All that are not saved. 
Lord, I thank you for the mothers. They didn't set aside for mothers. They didn't recognize the mothers. Thank you for this another day, Lord. Appreciate for all those that are mothers. Teach, teach us how the ladies to be mothers. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. And give him a praise and make me see.
Who's up road saying time is winding? Hope y'all see. Can't you see this sign? Time is winding up. The Bible told us so Jesus comes, it's going to be earthquakes and doubtless places. Famines and nation against nation, wars and rumors of war. And we know we're living in that time right now. You know, we're going to betray one another. We're living in that time right now where folks are betraying one another. Somebody told, told us it's often Friday. They need to shut this little place down and turn into a shoe shop. <laughs> Start selling shoes. <laughs> Kind of tickle me like, well, that's kind of funny with it. It's all right. God said, touch not my anointing and do my property no more. Yeah. Well, it'd be like when they touch the word. I'm not talking about touching me and you. When they touch God's word. You know, everybody don't give a praise. People are growing up. I'm not feeling the type of place no shoot you up. Hey, man, they some shoot shots up the street. Maybe a soul shot. Repair the soul. Getting up the hole in the soul. But this one thing I you know, if you find judgment, you judge me of the word. Because I know this is the only thing that's going to stand up is the word. Yes, coming. it is. Yes, the word. You know, when you speak evil of the word, then you may be getting in trouble. You can speak evil of me and other folk, but when you speak, when you speak against the word of God, then you get in trouble. You know, it's God's word. They say, Lord, thy word have I hit my heart. You know, it's the word of God. It ain't me. You know, you may look at me and Brother Trevor or me and G. E. Pass or somebody like the Frankie Ray and make a difference in the, in the vision, but it's not the individual, it's God's word. That's it, preacher. That's it, preacher. It's God's word that we all have to be subject to. It's God's word that we all Ought to be ministered, and it ain't about us. Yes, sir. It's not about us. Tell it, tell it. Never have been about us. It's about the word of God. Yes, sir. And it's God's word. It ain't about the individual. If the individual, brother Charles, speak God's word, if, 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 if I, I told my folks, leave because of the truth, and let them leave. If you walk away from the truth, and you walk away from God's word, I, and folks make you mad because that's the you know, you all not to be going out here uh, gambling and all this stuff. You ain't walking away from me. Or if you go somewhere else, the Bible's still going to be the same. You know, you may try to find your church that, that uh, ain't going to sit in the Bible. You know? We're too close, Rob. Our destiny. You know? We, we're on our way home. For the man of God's sake, but we've been teaching this and I've heard them teaching the word maybe for our Latin name Bible. Let not your heart be troubled. And we've ministered not too long ago. But uh, we're on our way home. This old word's not our home. We're just passing through it. We're headed home. And we ought to be laying out the treasures up in heaven. I've been asking the Lord, Lord help me. Have mercy upon me. God straight everything out in me that ain't that ain't right. Brother Theo, we don't, we don't want to miss the mark. And I've been asking the well, Lord, just help me straighten everything out in me that needs to be straightened out. You know, don't, don't, let, me, don't let me yield to my flesh. Then my soul will be lost. You know, I was in the hospital praying with Sister Webb yesterday. She was saying that. She was saying that. Now, some of y'all that go back and say the thing I say, just keep on going back and say it. You know, because then it be saying, well, I'm. I hear everything y'all say, but man, I ain't got time to do nobody talk about. You know, I might hear them talk about things, speaking the gospel. They say everything you say, we, I hear it. So somebody run back and tell them, don't make noise, keep on running and telling them. Whoever it is. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I mean, I'm ashamed. I wouldn't say nothing up here, brother, y'all. And I'd be a fool to get them to say something, think I ain't going to get out. Yeah. And I'd be naive.
I was in the hospital praying so ready that she said, I just, I just uh, kind of wonder what have I done? Is anything I've done wrong? And, you know, that sort of why, you know, all this happened been there. I can't get it. I said, if there's anything there, get it on the blood and go from there. Go from there. Anything that never tanked your body, sure. Anybody right mind will begin to search your life out and find out if there's anything you've done that may call God to step back from you. I said, if it is, just repent, get it on the blood, and go from there. You know? Go from there, but we all are messed up. Get it, preacher. Get it, preacher. We all are messed up. But God don't want to keep on messing up. He wants yeah. to repent. Stop it and go from there. Forget about that the water on the bridge. Lord, I'll take care of that. But let's start from here and go on. And let's keep a check on our life. Let, let's be watchful. Let's know what we're doing. You know, I thought there's nothing wrong with that. I said, Except Jesus, what he told me. Get everything on the blood. And then, if there have been some crooked places, from now on, walk that straight and narrow. A straight and narrow, brother, you know. You know? When the Bible tells us that the broad way is the way that leads to destruction, uh -huh. and many of them be, let's go in down there. Uh -huh. But straight is the gate, and narrow is the way that leads to life, and few yeah. there be, brother, like yeah. that fine, the All straight right. and narrow way yes, that leads to life. This whole church world is turning to the broad way. Right. Come on, preacher. Yeah. You got it, preacher. Turn to the all right, preacher, you got it. I heard the man of God was saying that God asked him, so who on this platform is going to preach the text? He said, he said, I will. I said, man, I ain't on that platform, but I will. You know, so I don't care. You know, God, I just don't care. I'm going to stand with God. I don't care who's going to like it. I'm going to stand with Jesus. I'm only going to give it. They don't like it. If folks don't like God, they don't want to come in the, the hallway to let them go stick their head in the sand. The Bible tells us, and I'm going to get into the scripture in a minute. The Bible tells us there's a way that seems right unto man. And I was praying, God. All right, that's right. There's a way that seems right unto man. But the end there are the ways of death. Death. As Lord, help me not to go this way that seems right. And I've been praying, so the prayer, and ask the Lord, Lord, help me. But not to go this way, because the way it seems right, Brother Bela, then you're going to follow the way because it seems like it's right. But you don't want to go the way that seems right. You want to go the way that is right. That is right, not the way that seems right. Thank God, get your Bible down off the shelf and read it. You know, she, the hospital yesterday, she, was, she wasn't there, but she was telling us the weather's where the storm Come, so I wasn't bothered by the storms. So I didn't bother me. I wasn't afraid at all. But my pastor praying for me. I said, listen, I said, chick better get a hold of God. I'm saying. I said, I'm told you better stop praying. My pastor this and my pastor that. Sure, I won't be praying, but you need to get a hold of God yourself. That's right. That's right. Thank God. You know? It didn't depend upon the pastors, because I know he praying, man. Storm ain't gonna touch me. <laughs> That's what I appreciate the Lord. Maybe God on that face, you believe that. That's be all right, but you know, we need to try to find the Lord by ourselves. But the But the find Jesus by ourselves. Get that Bible down. Well, I'm going to read the Bible that I was not still. Then you get mad at nobody because they teach me to steal. Yeah. Come on, preach up. All right. So, what we got to do, if we're going to be Christians, let's try to be conformed to Jesus. Yeah. Conform this way. And if we caught up in that thing, just ask God to help us. So, Lord, have mercy upon me. And help me and give me deliverance. You know? So, this time is, time is winding up, Sister Bert. Yeah, yeah. We're going to believe it, preach. Time is winding up. Yes, sir. You know, we reach out to God. Thank you, Father. I, I pray God just help us. Help us to go. If you want to go to heaven, that's one way. 
One way to heaven. And this is what it's all about. Man, people that fix shoes don't talk like this. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> it's all right. All right. Man. And I'd be more concerned in Hulk's soul and going to heaven than that's right, I do. I put more concern in folks' souls and folks going to heaven than I do anything because, you know, my soul is at stake too. I put more soul. And I, I, I'm not a deceiver. I'm not trying to be a hypocrite, Brother Charles. I'm not a deceiver. I told him if I was deceiving you, man, I'd be, Brother Blake, like I've been and grabbing, reading it for everything I can get out of it. You think I'd be here in this little place? If I was to deceive him? No, sir, man, I'd be somewhere. I'd be somewhere where I can pull in the door. Man, I have me a good message going on, and man, I have the peoples. I'd be blessing the peoples, and I'd be promising this and promising that. Of course, you can do it through the word, though. And I wouldn't be here if I was to deceive him, trying to be a hypocrite. Man, I'd be a hypocrite. Sister Ruth. They got everybody, you know, they said everybody was a hypocrite. Everybody's just like you. <laughs> yeah. Man, who made you? I ain't got a father to go around and straighten out a hypocrite. God didn't give nobody no father to go around and straighten out a hypocrite. I ain't got nobody no father to go around and straighten out a hypocrite. You know? Then you get your spirit messed up and flush it. I'm frustrated because somebody's a hypocrite. <laughs> but if I was a deceiver, you think I'd be here and going through? Brother Balaam may not be somewhere with a deceiving gospel. With a deceiving gospel, deceiving folks, and having folks break, break the bread, break, breaking the bread. And if you can win folks hope, you can get folks to do anything. If you can win folk confidence, that's not going to allow the preacher going to give them count. They win for confidence. They don't give them the gospel. They don't give them the truth. Right. And they're living in four and five in a million dollar house. If I told you, that don't take that for a man of God. It don't take no three, four million dollar house, man. The preacher live in. That ain't a preacher lifestyle. Not a real man of God. That ain't a lifestyle. They denied themselves. They took up the cross. Right. Yes. They didn't hardly have no place to stay a lot of time. They, you know, they didn't live this lovely life. Your battery, you check your battery. Take your battery. But we live, they had to bury something. I just put all this on here. They didn't live that luxury lifestyle that preachers live today. Mm -hmm. They got all their big diamond rings on them. I mean, that, that ain't a man of God life. Pardon, that's not the lifestyle of a man of God. They have all these big diamonds on and these gold and bracelets and big old gold chains around in there. That's not a man of God lifestyle. No, no. That's the world. Yes. I don't care how God blesses you and prop you. Thank God you, you still need to keep it simple. Right. You, know, you don't need to go down and flash it out and stuff like that. You know, turn it off. But when the Holy Ghost come in you, Brother, brother Theo, it, it won't make you show off like that. You know. It ain't the lifestyle. You know, now folks look up to it. I used to look up to, to my pastor, long to my little boy, because he's a big man that smoked a cigar. And I thought all preachers supposed to smoke a cigar. But I find out that's the fitness of the flesh. That's right, preacher. I find out that tobacco, cigarette smoke, right. and stuff like Here that is the fitness of the flesh. That's right. And that, I was looking up to that. But men of God don't ride, ride around smoking big cigars, cigarettes. It's supposed to be a clean vessel. It's supposed to be a sanctified vessel. It's supposed to be a vessel that can touch God. A vessel that can stand in, Brother Blaylock, and touch heaven for you. You know, if, 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 if you really sincere and got your heart right, sometimes can't nobody touch heaven for you because you blocked it yourself. Sometimes folk block when I mean, you can't you can't reach heaven for folks. Some folks just block that themselves. But if I was a deceiver, I had folks to leave. I had folks to leave, brother. I had folks that get mad at what I preached and leave. 
Yeah. If I was a deceiver, you think I'd be saying stuff to run folks on? I had folks get mad at my God. I had folks get out and go out and talk about me and say things because of what I preached. But you know what? We're trying to get to heaven. And the bounds of man, anything you don't get to heaven. And I preached this. Me and Sister Barbara talking this morning, last night. I, I preached this. I said, wait till you go. I thought about Sister Welton, you know. And she said, I'm trying to search my life. I, I preached this. I preached this a long time. You get on your deathbed, she get on your bed of affliction. You gonna hear it? She told me yesterday. I really felt it yesterday. She told me. She said, like, she said, I know you're praying for me. I, 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 you look like it just does something like evil. I've heard her make that statement before, but I heard it yesterday and I really heard it. I really understood it yesterday. I really felt it. Get on your deathbed and you're going to want to hear a man of God voice. You're going to want to somebody. I tell folks all the time. You don't play around with God. You get on your deathbed, you're going to remember these words. And folks, shut you off. Shut you out. You won't hear it. And when that devil get a hold of you, get you on your deathbed, you don't want somebody to come around there and soothe things. Make you feel safe. Make you feel secure. Because when I weak man long, just somebody to get around you that you've got confidence in that make you feel safe and secure. Make you feel neutral. And I want to stand for Jesus. And I have folks to leave. Leave you. Go out and say things. But when I preach, says Charlie, I'm not preaching for you. I'm not preaching for you. I'm preaching for souls. Brother Phil, if God had trumped me with the gospel, and I don't preach you not the gospel, blood is going to drip off my hands. It's going to, I got to do what God, I, I'm not a prophet. No, I'm, I'm not like the man of God, but I, I, I can give what God has given me. That's all I can give. I can't get up and do like him or do like other uh, preachers. But I, I'm trying to warn folks, and God's trying to warn me. Don't go to that place of torment. So I'm not a deceiver. And I'm not trying to be a hypocrite. I'm trying to keep from being a hypocrite. Brother Baylor, you trying to be a hypocrite? Sister Bruce, you trying to be a hypocrite? I won't be here. I'm not here to deceive folks. You know, I say stuff that calls folks to leave sometimes. So, so, ain't no deal where you're going, it's still going to be the same. Thing. Ain't no deal where you go, it's still going to be the same. Sure. It's going to be the same, brother Mike, where you go. I mean, folks will leave one church and go to another one because things soft there. The word of God ain't going to change. Man, that preacher may not be preaching about the word. When you stand before G, you got to stand before the same word. Stand before the same word. When we stand before the Almighty God, we got to stand right here before the same word. Man, I might not preach like your pastor, Reverend Paul, but if he preached the word, it's going to be the same word. If he preached not the word, it's going to be the word of God when you stand before Jesus. I said, well, you just embarrassed me. You just made me, everybody looked at me and laughed. I said, I ain't never tried to embarrass nobody. I preach the word. I ain't got no respect in person. No. God cut me on the bottom of my foot, and the Lord cuts me and whip up on me. He don't be caring about my flesh. He's trying to get my spirit straight now. And the Lord do whip up on me, Sister Bruce. I have to do just like I'm telling you, repent. All right. Get it straight out with God. Ask God for mercy. Say, Lord, help me. Forgive me. Have mercy upon me. Because preachers can go to hell too, and they're going to go to hell, Sister, Sister Frank. Don't go to hell. Listen to this. Lord, I appreciate it. But Lord, man, if you care for your soul, you can care for this. Worry. I've had folks to speak against me. No, that's all right. It's all right. 
sanctified. I don't want to be ashamed when I stand before Jesus, Robert. I don't want to be ashamed. When I stand before Man, we need something to stir. Our churches don't stir. Our churches don't tell us we're fixing to go to hell. Our churches pamper us. This life of the world, this drug in it, this alcohol in it, this cigarette smoking it, this adultery in it, this fornication, and all this old party stuff is going to take folks to hell. And we don't need to be pampered. We need to be, the Bible said in my scripture here, Jesus said, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. This world of tight living, you're going to end up lost. Man, you die today, your soul is going to hell. Whenever you minister, whenever God give you the ministry, it's on that line and you tell folks, 
all the time folks too, but but the, the Lord of Him folks somewhere. I said, Lord, that's why I go in the man of God meeting. I, I ain't got to feel bad. I ain't got to get in there and he preach something I don't preach. I'm trying to preach everything I know to preach. If he get up and have on, on all this old worldly stuff and worldly looking, I, I don't feel I'm because I, I know I preach against it. I'm not ashamed. I'm not getting any meeting and, and my, the men look at you. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I'm not gonna be a Christian. I didn't know Shaq on the throne. That's right. Well, I knew that preacher about Shaq. Him yeah, sitting up there pastor now. That makes you feel bad, sister. Sister LeVar. The Bible for us said for us to examine ourselves. All right. Yes, sir. Hers, it's your soul. It's for you. You want to go to heaven? It's for you to take inventory of your life. It's for you to look and see where are you coming from. What kind of life are you living? It's you for you to take the Bible, thank God, and see, thank God, are you living like the Bible says? A man, are you out there in the world and doing the world of way? It's for us to examine ourselves to see whether we be in the faith or not. If you're out there committing adultery, thank God the Bible says, and you can take the Bible and examine yourself. And if you're in adultery, then you know, thank God, you transgress. Man, man, man. It's for us to examine ourselves, man. See what we did. Somebody said, "This is this guy come to get me to this." <laughs> Come on, preacher. Tell us about it. Oh, Jesus. Tell it anyhow. Big church. <laughs> this is the truth, though. So this is the gospel truth. This is the truth, brother. And this is what we are working. We're trying to get. We're trying to get to heaven. Trying to make it in, brother. Trying to make it in. Trying to make it in. Not the priest to you to let you like me and find favor with me, and then your soul will be lost, and now my soul will be lost too. But for us to make it in. This life here is just a. We're just passing through this old place. Praying this is not our. Whether it be in heaven or whether it be in hell, you just so journey, you have been just passing through this land. This old world is not our home. I told him yesterday, if you not want, I want to go to a place of peace. You work a job all no, I was telling them out. Great man of God said, some of them think they're coming back here. Go ahead and buy your come to minutes and all this stuff. And after about seven, eight years, you're gonna come back after the living you're gonna come back, you're gonna possess all this stuff. I said, man, who want to come back here? Heartaches, trouble, getting frustrated, getting mad, people stealing from you, and all this stuff. But when you work on a job, brother, when you get on a job, you want to go home, you don't want to go back in the back of the, where you work at, one of the trucks and go to sleep, do you? You want to go home. When you get to work, you want to go home where, where Sister Angela is, where some peace at. Right. Man, where you can go home and lay back and relax. Brother Hard, when you get through in this old life, I want to go home where some peace at. Yeah. Where some joy at. Yeah. 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 After this life, after the work is done, after the day is done here, I want to go home where some peace. Hearts. I don't want to go back where I don't want to go where all this confusion and nothing but trouble. Give me a whole mess of peace here. Right. Man, I begin to experience going home with the Lord. I said, Father, thank you. I just begin to cry. Robin, you know how we like this old world. You know how we don't want to be taken out of here, do we? Come on, y'all. Yeah. I need to hit that man all over the building. <laughs> But so ain't nobody ready to leave here yet. <laughs> I'm not. I know I ain't ready to go nowhere yet, Frank. <laughs> we been talking about how this old means old world live every day, so we got to come home. Right, come home, where we call the man of God, call the woman of God, we 
get the saints around, <laughs> praying and trying to, trying to stay here, you know. <laughs> the world may not, not be that mean to us. <laughs> but we ain't ready to go. You see? Send somebody trying to pray. Get somebody to pray for you. Keep you here. You know? When I experience, I just begin to cry. Because it's like it's, why are you going to be nothing I'm missing, Sister Bruce? I just felt, I just felt this presence of God. I just felt, praying, I felt this at present, I felt this experience with God, and, and it wasn't like nothing I was missing it. Looked like a joy came over me. Sister Bruce, a joy came over me that I was going to be in the presence of Jesus. And tears began to come in my eyes, right? Because I felt that peace. Somebody said, you feel me go? I don't know. I hope not. But if I go, I want to go to a place of peace. And nothing in this earth for you. Somebody said, you ain't got no text. I don't need that. <laughs> go ahead, preach up. Go ahead. I ain't went to the scripture. Man. I ain't even talking about the scripture. Go ahead. See, that's the difference in the church of Jesus Christ and not this organization, Jesus Christ. All right, all and, right. And then the traditional church. All right. Yes, sir. You got to have a text, you know. Yes, sir. You got to go a certain way, you know. But I, I find it hard to believe that the apostle taught like, like we teach today. We were riding along yesterday listening to Frank Ray. Come on, y'all stop calling me. Talking about that. You got all them folks following. Talking about nothing. Smack. Nothing. Get to the soul. Nothing to share, Sister Robert. And there is nothing to bring folks out of sin. Nothing to bring God's conviction. Nothing to get folks so saved. Because right. speaking to the flesh, all the time, speaking to the flesh, thank God, the soul of the devil, the soul of this person, the soul of this world of hell. And they got to be speaking this stuff, brother, thank God. Thank God. Oh, thank the Lord. He's nothing. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Some folks may be close to folks and they won't tell me. Thank you, Jesus. I told them here, I said, no job. I know somebody trying to talk around to my mama, trying to get her to get next to me. Sister, I told my mama can't get next to me. My sister can't get next to me. My, my, my wife can't get next to me to change. Help me to cover my help me to do something. And we need somebody to help us. And I didn't hear it, but somebody was saying that the man of God was saying, like all those little Sunday schools, so that stuff is coming up the devil. People don't even have having Sunday school. Y'all have Sunday school. Y'all have Sunday school. All that stuff is more But I don't know that. See, that's why we don't have the mind of God. I mean, the whole church world here about don't have the mind of God. All right, that's true. That's true. Hey, hey, hey. Man, people are building and buying. Thank God. I look at Apostle here. Building this big old, all that million dollar building. And Jesus is fixing to come. All right. People are putting up 50 million dollar buildings and saving millions and millions of dollars. You know what your inheritance is? It's heathens. 
healing is in your hands. Right. So, heal them. Them that are wrong. Them that don't have Jesus. He said, I'm going to give them for your inheritance. Not this stuff up on this earth. We're not going to have that. We're going to have souls. So, when you give it this off to help, I can't go overseas. I can go, but I'll just be a, a hard hand. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. We can shoot up have sin. Thank you. Just shout. When you put a dollar in this off, you help. You help with it, so. Put a dollar in this off. You put five thousand in this off. You help soul. This soul to be added to you. You can have a part of that, thank God. You can't go overseas and preach the gospel. You have trouble coming down, Lord, up that hill over there. But you can thank God. You can put into the offering. Thank God you can help win a soul in another country. A soul that otherwise wouldn't hear the name of Jesus. That's going to be the Lord. That's going to go to hell. But by you helping in the offering. He was buying a brick or that Bible blessing. Still buying a soul. They're buying a brick. Which is going to be trial by fire. Sister Bruce, been in all this fancy stuff, but people won't hear God. But people, they wear their pants too right in church, they're looking like horrors coming in churches, and they, you're, you're being a big pillar for these people that don't love God, that won't hear God's word. Where are you throwing this word away? But people that won't hear the word of God, that won't hear correction, that won't hear instruction, and we throw a million dollars away. Thank God for a bunch of heathens. Somebody don't call no name. I ain't just trying to call a name. I'm just telling. I stand this up against any gospel, Brother Harsh. I ain't worried about what people think. I ain't worried about what people say. People get up and well, he shouldn't say this. He shouldn't say that. But Sister Bruce, it's the truth. You know you can't go over there and preach. You can't go to Frankie Ray Church. Preach like I'm preaching. Right, get to <laughs> this is our souls, Andrew. Man, if I stand and tell you on the way to hell, which you are, it's the truth. I'm not saying to condemn you. I'm just saying to wait you up. Let you know you can't live that lifestyle and go to heaven. All right. I don't care how good God is. Somebody on TV comes out, well, I, that wasn't God out there over home. No, he's a loving God. See, I don't know God. God told us I'm going to destroy him. I'm going to bring this nation to his knees. All right. All right. I'm going to bring this nation to its knees. And God had told us that the storm going to intensify. And man, did that intensify. They on the ground four hours, four miles wide. They on the ground four. Can you imagine a storm standing on the ground for four hours? Tearing up everything in sight, Sister Bruce. This is intensifying. God said, I'm going to intensify. Man, we need to hear God. We need to man, get a place, Brother Bank, where we are. Stop talking about this God is love. He is love, but thank you, he's the God of wrath. Yes. I won't. I want to go like this. But I want you to know, we get on the blood of Jesus Christ. All this stuff that happened coming to us, we may have some protections, you know. We may have some protections. But to be out of God, this ain't no time for folks to be out of God. This is time for folks to be asking the Lord to help me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Help me. I'm asking the Lord, Lord, give me victory over the television. Mm -hmm. And I, I usually don't watch television. Now I'll watch it. I'm asking God, give me a victory over the television. Amen. You, you'll find it easy to sit down and watch the program on TV, then you easy to get up and go pray about it. Yeah. I, I usually not watch television. We had one little long television in the house and it was, was playing good. I said, Lord, when this thing hit go out, that's it. Now another TV coming in the house. <laughs> but I had no truth to that, man. I went to that gate of company. <laughs> man, that one TV birthed a brother and a sister. <laughs> so, <laughs> man, I got a little TV family. <laughs> 
It's just what's on. And most of us ain't disciplined enough to watch a program, go and pray and read, go and take care of what we need to be Once something come on, you sit down and watch it, well, I'm going to get about this. Man, they advertise something else, come on, man, they sound like that too. <laughs> 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 oh, see, like, gonna really <laughs> <laughs> Well, I was, I was going to get pray, but Jerry Spring coming in about five minutes. <laughs>
don't want nobody to never feel condemned coming here. But come to hear the truth. I'm about to Man, the, Brother Well, what I do, I'll spend time in prayer reaching out. Y'all don't know, I'll spend time in prayer reaching out for you. Because I understand, I don't get on judge folks and jump on folks, man. We once committed fornication. And Sister Mary and I committed fornication before we got married. Sister Bruce, you and Joe probably committed fornication before we got married. <laughs> All of us, brother, and Mary probably committed fornication before we got married. That's the truth. Yes, it is. Hey, you know, you got that old thing, man. You don't buy nothing for you. <laughs> but God had me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is what I'm saying now. And we, we got to God, show me mercy. Give me mercy. And I preach this with, with understanding, with compassion, because I know that spirit that we are. But it's still wrong. Man, get yourself on the blood, said the Lord. Say, I'm living this lifestyle, but will you help me? Will you be merciful to me? God, somewhere write it in your records that I'm going to be saved, that I'm, 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 I'm going to come out of this. I'm coming out with victory. I'm coming out with strength. I'm coming out with him. See, if I don't say it, Sister Bruce, I'm going to be here responsible. I don't condemn by them. I know how it is. I'm not here to condemn them. Go ahead and let you know and start praying about it. You need to complain to ask God to send you a complaint. You want to complain to ask God to make you strong? You want to work for God? Ask God to make you strong. The Lord help you. I don't think I'm coming back with anything. I just admit what I like to do. It's good, though. Because this is our soul. And this is what we, uh, all of us need this in our church. The, help of, the Bible says faith, and I'm going to give you a let's go. The Bible says faith, what? Coming by hearing. Hearing what? Hearing gospel? Hearing the word of God. Faith come by hearing. Thank God you hear the word of God saying that you're overcoming, that you can endure. That faith come by hearing. Yeah. And you, you hear it enough, you begin to say, you know what, man, I can stand up against this devil. Oh, I man, I, got, I ain't got to stoop down to this devil. I ain't got to. Yeah. Oh. You know why? Because the word of God keeps telling you that you are overcome. Oh, right. That you got the victory, that you are more than a conqueror. Oh, right. And somewhere in your life, man, that's going to get a hold. Oh, right. Sister Diane, you know, she was on drugs. Sister Charlie and Dawn. I just keep telling you, greatest heat is in you, Sister Diane, he is in the world. And she go out and do good for two, three weeks and she get fall back. Stay out sometimes she go out and stay out for two, three months. Four, five months on drugs, just smoking everything she can find. And but she can come back like a minister to pray for a minister. That's the greatest he died in you. Try to let her hear it. And once she begin to get that in her mind, in her heart, that man, something is in me, something that little bit that is Jesus in me, man, I, I'm overcomer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you kept praying for her. Kept having her. But we stopped having them. We love having them. She kept smoking all that stuff, but money up. She smoked our television up. <laughs> Brand new color TV, she smoked it up. Smoked the furniture up. And yours too, huh? This is what Brother Austin will help. I pay a rent, pay a light bill. Get by gross, brother Austin gonna help me. And last time she went out and smoked up everything and called me. The brother Austin, I need, wrote me a letter, I said, I'm sorry, I said, I can't get you no more. Oh, she's crying. I said, well, I know how you feel, so I said, I'm sorry, I can't get you no more. I didn't see it. I didn't help her no more. But you know what kept praying for? So then she got home to God. She come told me, she said, you know what, now I realize what you mean. I said, I just can't understand what you're talking about. Great as he lives in me, that he lives in the world. Now I know who's coming. Greater is Jesus in us. And that much of Jesus, greater is that little bit of Jesus in him than the devil is in the world. There's something in you that can help you stand. That little bit of Jesus, all this 
stuff is nothing but temptation. A little bit of Jesus in it can, if you upset your mind to it, say, God, through you, this, this, this little dust in me, I can overcome. I can get the victory. And you find yourself somewhere down the road, you find yourself getting the victory. Oh, faith come right here. Faith come right here. And here is mine. So we got to tap. You folks, the Holy Father, I thank you. And I magnify you. I reverence you. Lord, you said this gospel be here is here to them that are lost. And here from them, from here to them. Thank you, mighty master, for this. Thank you for these that gathered here today. Lord, I wish we did have a good soul, smooth gospel. I wish you ordained that. For everybody just be happy. Everybody just likes you, smile upon you. I wouldn't care to ordain like that, but it wouldn't ordain like that. Sometimes we got to hear stuff that, hear stuff, Lord, that really just don't make our flesh be good. But Father, in Jesus' name, I pray for house of prayer. And I ask for your protection. If you honor my prayer, if you honor me as putting me here to minister your word, and as you honor me as a shepherd, Lord, it may not be the best of shepherds, but if you honor me as a shepherd, and that's one that you're called, sent, Lord, to minister your word, to exalt you. And I pray for these. I pray, God, that the prayer that we take up will have an effect. God, that you're here and that you watch over these. And that you give them deliverance and give them strength. Keep them from the destructive spirit until they can get themselves together. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ from Nazareth. Father, I thank you. Help me, Lord. Don't let a destructive spirit. Destroy me until I get myself together. In the name of Jesus. I won't give my hand for you. Thank you, Father. Well, I didn't get a chance to get to the message. Not to what I had, man. I thought this is pretty good. It's pretty good, dude. I told you the truth. I'm going to always be on your side. If you got to hear what I about, brother, I'm going to always be on your side to help you. Hope that, don't be wrong, I'll be on this side. You know? I'll be on this side. Sit down with me. Stand with me. Yeah, go ahead. We're going to receive an offer. Y'all get the offer. And uh, we're going to ask you to bless the Lord today now. And, uh, and uh, remember your tithes and offerings.
Hold on to the chain. Take the chain. John said anything that's not seen is a lie. You agree? Paint your father. Is that the word? Is that what it means? God bless you. Good to see you again. I do it. I'm here. No, you know, a lot of people say that. That's what it means. What happened when we hung up on the train? See? We going to hell for certain things. The other things, you know, how I'm
in Jesus' name, bless these, Lord, that contribute, that put in this offering. Every soul that be won over through their finances, God, I know it's going to be added to them. There's going to be another star in their prime. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, I thank you, and I'm asking you to bless this and multiply it. Return it to the givers, help the givers, bless the givers, forgive it. In Jesus' name we pray, and we thank you. Praise the Lord. We're going we're gonna to listen. No word. We ain't got big fans of dinner and stuff like that, but it's never been our goal to do that. It's never been our goal. We put thousands of dollars into the mission field. Make this mean God help us to stand. Help us keep holding on. We're going to pray. And uh, don't never get that kind of mind of looking on the cure stuff, but this stuff is fixing to pass away. Amen. Fixing to pass away. Only the, on the spiritual stuff, stuff that we do for God, is what's going to hold up. It's going to hold up. When folks come here, they put it in five miles, they go somewhere else and put it in fifty. It's one day, man, you come here and put it in ten dollars, go somewhere and put it in hundred. You know? Like I said, man, we left there, they didn't know what we did. put it in somewhere where they had to soak. Make it out, move it out. God, make it well, make it whole. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord, I decree this to be sold by your word. Faith in your word, God. I command it, I thank you for doing it. In Jesus' name. Thank God. We're going to ask you to stand with you, thank the Lord. I have church. See you, man. Father, thank you today. I appreciate it for these. Give us the weapon, courage. Let it be doubt and stuff. Let it just be in faith. I pray in Jesus' name, Sister Thomas, for the husbands. This way, turn it to the hood. We're not dying from cancer. I'm sick of it. Holy, righteous master, stand up for our God. You say you come to redeem us and deliver us. And God, I pray, and I thank you for these, this House of Prayer family. I appreciate them all, and I love them. Well, sometimes see and get a hold of our life, and God, I appreciate them, I love them. And I'm asking you, God, somewhere to stand up. You say you're going to bring in the lost. Stand up in our behalf. God, help me to do that which is pleasing to you. Help me to be able to, help me to be an able minister of the Word of God. In Jesus' name, go with these today. I pray your protection. In the time of these storms and earthquakes and things that you told us that was coming through. Holy, holy, holy Father. Now stand up on our hand. Well, I'm trying to find some claw, grab claw that we have. And pass them back out for their home. In Jesus' name, go with us today. And find the meeting man. Keep them on this side of the road. In Jesus' name, I pray and I thank you. Tell us you with your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. 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 You know the truth. You, you know, know the, the truth. truth. It's the only thing. It's the only thing. It's going to make us free. It's going to make us free. And that is truth. And that is true. In Jesus. In Jesus. Thank God. I can see you saying the distance. All right. Man. Appreciate it. Everybody. Make us free. Yeah. Let them know that's what, you know, it, it, it's good, you know, I thank God for a word like that. 
Yeah. One brother last night at the prison said, I'm going to let you go. So he said, he said, he said, he said before he left, he said, I'm coming out tonight to get rebuked. And man, uh, that word was tough last night at the time. But he, man, he was so happy, man. So he said, that's what he came to get a, you know, a word of rebuke. And uh, it, it was good service, though. It wasn't like, you know, it just was a good knowing your service, man. And, uh, he said he was so glad. You know, uh, and I said, man, a lot of times that's what people are waiting for, the truth, man. As many as I love, I mean, all right, all right, that's it. And shape, be zilly, therefore. That's what they were doing. Unless, read the rest of it, unless I come. Unless, let, unless I come, right. Unless I come. Come quickly and quickly. remove the candlestick out of his place. Out of his place. Okay. Mm -hmm. so,